Okay, so what am I doing? Painting warm water onto a wall. What's happened here is that this is a, a lime plastered wall and when the, when the lime was put on there it, um, <coughs> it didn't have enough water in the lime wash that went on top. So that lime wash has become dry and dusty and comes off on your hands and clothes and is, is flaking off the wall. It's just not got enough water to, uh, to operate and to, to change and to become what it needs to be. There's a, a verse in, uh, in the Old Testament where Ezekiel is uh, having a vision. He's a prophet and they do that sort of thing. So he's having his vision and, and, and there he is. He sees in front of him a valley of dry bones, which is, you know, calcium stuff, basically the same sort of stuff as this is, this lime wall. And uh, God says to the prophet, can these bones live? They're dry bones in a desert place. There's no life, there's no moisture. The human body is mainly, mainly water, they tell me. And, and they have none, and they're just dead bones. And the voice of God is heard, and life comes into the bones in Ezekiel's vision. There's a kind of a New Testament parallel to that. In Galatians 5, the passage we're looking at in our gathering of Grace Christian Community on, on Sunday this week, in Tandolo. And, and basically, it's a matter of what needs to come into the situation for us to change and to function properly the way we should with life in us. It's, it's a passage about uh, producing fruit, and of course you can't produce fruit without a great deal of water. It's about producing the fruit of the Spirit, which we need to do if we're not going to have lives that are dry and, and dusty and flaky. Uh, as we go to church, you can go to church and, and be in a terrible state, of course. Well, this is about how we don't do that, but produce the fruit of, of the Holy Spirit of God in our lives, day by day, and become what we should become, the way this wall is having to, as I apply this sort of life-giving water to it, but to become what it needs to be. So that's what's about next week at Grace Christian Community, gathering at my Elverin in Llandeilo, as it happens, next Sunday morning, half past ten. Uh, if you're able to be there, that'd be great. It's uh, SA196EG for your sat-nav. There's a map even on the website at www.grace-sandalo.org.uk. Starts at 10.30. Why don't you just come as you are? We'd love to see you there.